Um, most outstanding graduate student intern is the next category for the research park. And we are pleased to see so many graduate students that make contributions despite having perhaps a PhD they're pursuing and numerous other obligations and their technical accomplishments are really vital to many of these organizations. The next uh, finalist that we will recognize also is from Brunswick. Adish Dilip Natik, sorry, Nayak. I completely butchered, I am sorry, Adish. So you can correct me of how it's actually supposed to be pronounced or more accurately, I think Trevor is gonna do that for me because he's your manager and he is the one that nominated you. And he has many nice things to say about this graduate student in electrical and computer engineering. Yep, so it's Adish Nayak. And uh, unfortunately, Adish is uh, not able to join us today. He uh, is standing up in a friend's wedding right now. So as we speak, I believe he is not on the line today. Uh, I think it's a good excuse, Trevor, being in a wedding. Works. That one works. <laughs> So Adish uh, has been with uh, Brunswick also since uh, uh, summer of last year. So he's been with us for uh, a year and a couple months. Um, he uh, has, uh, it's interesting with Adish, when he came into the team, we, we started him in a bit of a, a role with leadership and it was an area that he struggled and had to kind of fight his way through. And uh, over the last year, he has become a clear leader within the team, uh, especially this spring and summer, he really took on a leadership role and is, has uh, become a mentor for many other students. He's taught them how to lead, taught them how to uh, work on the different projects that they're doing, give them technical expertise. Uh, and really he's become uh, kind of the scrum master for multiple projects that we have going on here and uh, uh, guiding the different students on different projects. Uh, he's also, uh, stood up our first data acquisition system that uh, we're working with here. He's implemented new software uh, capabilities for perception systems. He's implemented different sensors into that uh, data acquisition system. Uh, just doing a fantastic job. Uh, couldn't be more proud of the growth that he's had over the last year. Awesome. Thank you, Trevor, for telling us more about Adish. And the next final in, finalist in this category is Anisha from Corteva, Anisha Johari. And she was nominated by Yannick Jumba Funan, who has a, a more to tell us about her work. And I saw he's on the screen and I'm sorry, I probably butchered your name as well, um, but can her supervisor tell us a little bit more about her contributions? She is a graduate student in information management. Hi, uh, yeah, Anisha is, um has joined the, the group uh, a few months ago and uh, she's working on uh, a software package that's called Biotransformer. So it's um, a package that aims at uh, predicting how small molecules are transformed within species, uh, living species I might add. So from uh, uh, animals to, um, to environmental microbes. So that, you know, uh, aims at um, uh, quantifying or at least uh, characterizing the um, molecules that we are exposed um, um, to. So this is really critical uh, in terms of capaci capabilities within uh, companies that um, um, operate in the molecular design uh, framework. So agro agrochemical company, pharmaceutical companies, but also um, environmental science, um, uh, specialists. So the tool Biotransformer has gained a lot of uh, a lot of users and is the center of a, 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 an increasingly large community. And Anisha has been working uh, with us uh, with the goal to kind of uh, improve the tool, to modularize it, to add a number of other capabilities that were not provided with the tool. Um, it's an open source tool, so it, it it has a huge impact not just for the company, but um, you know for other researchers around the world. So. Our goal is to make it, you know, uh, in the long term, uh, a standard for a metabolism prediction. So she's very dedicated. I mean, we, we've been really impressed. I've had my share of uh, interns over the last few years, and she's by far the best. Um, and that's something that we, uh, my my um, colleague and I, noticed from the beginning. I mean, she was already looking at the code online before we actually even interviewed her. Which, I mean, I think she was the only one. Or one of you know um, one of two people who did that. Um, she's been very proactive, so she just doesn't stay and wait for um, us to tell her exactly what to do. She knows exactly where we're going, and she's been 
adapting herself and, and working in an environment where, I mean, even though she's, she's not very familiar with chemistry, uh, she's very familiar with the software development part of things. And she's really proactive and, and very responsive. So we've been very pleased um with her work uh, to the point where uh we have um applied for an extension of the funding and she'll be continuing with us for uh the next term um and uh, we plan to work in the area of software development but also machine learning so um we were very pleased to have uh, her on board and uh, we're looking forward to the next uh next weeks and months to come Awesome. Well, that's quite a lot of nice things to say about Anisha. You're apparently the best. Best they've seen. Tall order. Okay, next finalist is Eddie Chapman from Abbey. And I am guessing that Kirsten might be here to tell a little bit more about Eddie, who is a graduate student in computer science, working as a library information specialist. And since Kirsten has a similar designation, this might be close to your field and heart. Yes, and actually, um, you know, Eddie joined in 2018, um, has continued with us as he's transitioned to his grad program. So he out senior, um, has more time with the company than I do. Um, and I think to fully explain the depth of his work and his contributions, we actually have two colleagues um, from AbbVie who are here to join us. So Bill Bryce is actually his direct supervisor. Um, and Bill is a senior scientist with our library and information services team. So I'm actually gonna let Bill speak in his own words um, a little bit more about Eddie. So go ahead, Bill. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna say about Eddie is the first, uh, the first time I really got to interact with him, which was when we interviewed him in 2018. And uh, this interview, uh, took place on a train ultimately. And uh, I remember this conversation, we have this time slot for you. Oh, I'm gonna be on a train at that time. All right, can we make this, can we make this work? And he said, oh no, we'll find out and uh, let's find out. And, uh, and uh, it was, I mean, I think there were some tunnels and dead zones, but obviously it was a success and we hired him and we um, really, really appreciated, uh, you know, his personality and his professionalism from the start. Um, as a matter of fact, I wrote down a list of buzzwords here that I didn't want a sentence to get in the way of. So I'm just going to say I'm work ethic, communication, professionalism, composure, grace, inquisitiveness, curiosity, responsive, responsible. I uh, just wanted to fit all of those in there because all of those really conjure up an image of Eddie for me. And I think also for our search team as well. Um, 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 when we our search team at AbbVie has to deliver quality results to so many scientists uh, at the company and any help that the team can get um, to, to really kind of deliver those results faster, more accurately and what have you is really such a benefit to the search team. And that's the kind of work that Eddie has really come through for us on. Um, not only just with the initial tasks that we originally had in mind for him, but also with the um, imagining and the development of those tasks um, throughout uh, his time here. And it's been really fun uh, to watch him grow uh, professionally, uh, not only his skill set, but to also kind of mature with, within the group uh, that, that, uh, that has really taken advantage of his work the most. It's been fun for me to watch the conversation within the search team uh, evolve from, can we do this to, uh, can Eddie do this? And uh, that's how I know, right, that he's really made an impact uh, on the people that he's that he's serving here. And, uh, you know, it, uh, every moment working with him is a pleasure. And that's all I think I could say. Well, no, I could say more, but that's all I will say. That's awesome, Bill. And Bill has been leading library initiatives for AbbVie since almost the beginning as well. So I know his words of praise are sincere and he has seen many students along that journey. So um, awesome job to Eddie in, in becoming a capability within the department, <laughs> something like that, of somebody who can Eddie do it. I love that. Okay, our next finalist is going to be Prane from Corteva, just looking on the screen to see if we have her here. And I know I see Jason, who is her manager. He is her manager. Jason is Prane's manager and Prane, is, uh, I don't know if we have him here. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm here. Oh, sorry, Prane, I didn't see, I couldn't see you earlier. Prane is a graduate student in aerospace engineering. 
and his ma manager, Jason Jacks, is his nominee. And um, Corteva ha has him working in the area of field sensing and data science. Jason, can you tell us more about him? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, everyone. And, and thank you for doing these awards. I think this is a really great uh, internship program. And it's really nice to be able to recognize some of the hard work that all these uh, young scientists and, and uh, contributors uh, are doing. Um, Prene was uh, immediately uh, caught my eye when we did internship interviews this, uh, this for the summer. Um, in fact, I knew within about five minutes that uh, I was going to hire him or at least offer him a role. And I know uh, after about uh, you know 15 minute conversation, I was pretty much done asking questions and, and I asked him if he had any questions and he said, yeah, are you not going to ask me any more questions? And, and I said, well, look, I, Obviously, you have a technical skill set. That's great. But you also have passion and enthusiasm. And in fact, he had gone already far enough along to research the project that we were hiring for and came to the interview with thoughts. And, and for me, it, it, a lot of people have high skill sets, um, but not everybody has that combination of high skill set and enthusiasm and passion. And that's what will make Prani a great scientist. Um, and so for his, in terms of his project, He's made in, uh, really great uh, contributions to the project. Um, the work we do uh, for my team is focused around uh, what we call precision phenotyping, which uh, helps our genetic scientists to um, promote the best uh, possible crop uh, during our, our field trials and ultimately get uh, the best seed in the hands of farmers and growers around the world. So uh, the work we do is to sort of automate that process uh, or at least part of that process. And I think Prene can be proud that the work he is doing is contributing to somewhere uh, at some point a, a farmer will get a better seed, make more money, feed more people. And uh, that's really something that uh, he can be proud of. So thank you Prene for your hard work. Prene, thank you so much for all you've done and Jason's words speak strongly about your accomplishments. And so we really appreciate your work at Corteva. And with that, another tough category, lots of really brilliant uh, students and accomplishments that have gone to companies. And I'm very happy to say that the winner for the most outstanding graduate student this year is Eddie Chapman since 2018, contributing to AbbVie at the Research Park. Eddie, tell us about your journey. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's an honor to receive the award and recognition. Um, thank you to Bill and Kirsten. Um, like Kirsten said, I've been uh, fortunate enough to have a couple years at AbbVie, so I've gotten to um, see my work grow and develop over time. I've gotten to see projects go from uh, just you know envisioning, collecting requirements, to implementing uh, software for the the library searchers and getting to deploy it and get the feedback. Um, so it's been really cool to see the whole life cycle of a couple projects. Um, it's been a really great opportunity to work with the AbbVie library. Everybody there has been very supportive, um, giving great feedback and being patient. Uh, you know, when I can't figure something out uh, or, or think it might not take as long as it does. Uh, so yeah, it's just been um, a great experience to grow and learn. And um, Bill's been a really excellent mentor. Um, he's always helped me out along the way and you know helped translate things for me and kind of guide me when I'm overthinking something or things like that. And then um, at the AIC, Kirsten and Jerome have done a really great job of making everybody feel welcome and connected even uh, during the pandemic when people were remote. So um, yeah, I've really loved my time at AbbVie and uh, I'm excited for the next semester.